surfaces are descriptions applied to single or multiple triangles within a LSS digital terrain model. In order to demonstrate this, I'm going to turn on the triangles in the survey and what's more I'm going to make every point and link feature which is in the triangulation that's in the terrain one color and everything which is not in the terrain a different color all of the green points and lines are terrain points and lines and the red lines are the triangles if we enter feature surface and we will use the default settings which is add surface feature by line we can select a different surface feature from the pull down list but as we've discovered before this image of a keyboard indicates to us that we can type in the surface feature that we wish to use without having to select it from this pull down list alternatively we can create a new surface feature which must be up to a maximum of four characters we can amend an existing surface feature we can view the list of available surface features in the current survey legend and if we already have a surface feature inside the current survey we can select it using the cursor as we're going to add this surface by line the first triangle that the cursor is located will fill with that surface feature if we zoom in to see in a little bit more detail and emanating from that first point that we clicked will be a line as soon as I click every triangle that crosses that line will be filled in with that surface feature therefore if we want to add a surface around a feature we need to follow that route with that rubber banded line and we can work our way back out in this fashion you need to bear in mind that there is no undo within this command so it is always worthwhile saving the survey before you start doing this kind of editing if you wish to free the cursor you can just click in the same triangle again and that will allow you to start again somewhere else alternatively the escape button in the lower right or the escape key on your keyboard will escape the command entirely so this is not recommended if you just want to create a break as I've explained to create a break you simply click in the same triangle twice and you could then continue still in add surface feature we now select by rectangle this allows us to define a rectangle and every triangle which crosses that rectangle will be filled in with that surface feature add by polygon will enable us to draw a polygon and every triangle which is crossed by that polygon will be filled in enclosure is a very powerful function and this can be used to fill those areas which have a completely enclosed boundary the setting in this section allows it to fill to a boundary but also not to bleed out where there might be a small gap in that boundary for example if you've got a rather complex shape and you think there may well be a break somewhere along the boundary of that shape as long as you set that permitted gap between links to exceed the likely gap between the link then it will not bleed out from that feature into the remainder of the survey if you select an area by mistake 
and it ends up filling parts of the model that you're not intending to be filled with that surface you're always given the option of storing or otherwise just bear in mind that as I said at the beginning this surface addition is only applied to triangles within the model therefore if you see it pass through link features then it must mean that those link features are non-terrain link feature loops allows us to define a specific link feature and whenever it finds a complete loop of that specific link feature anywhere inside the current survey it will fill it with that defined surface feature between two link features is a useful way to fill areas where you have two defined link features together and you want to fill the gap between them with a specific surface feature. In this case we have fence and curb and we want to fill it with that surface feature Bear in mind that if there are points between the links that you define, then it may not fill in those triangles. Slope allows us to fill triangles by slope value. We can change the mode at which we enter the slopes. So we can say, I want to find everything that is between 2% and 10%. This will be useful for categorizing slopes within quarries. Slope direction. Again will allow us to determine the overall direction of the slope and also the angle so if we're looking for slopes that lie within 10 degrees east and west of due south then if we enter the bearing of 180 and the subtending angle of 20 this will find all slopes which are pointing south with a 10 degree east-west tolerance. Level range will allow us to determine which triangles fall within a specific level range. We can include triangles which lie entirely within that level range or those that lie partially or entirely within that level range. If you want to identify triangles between specific level ranges and only entire triangles that lie within those specific level ranges then you would need to perform an output contour command to create lines at a specific datum value and then you could perform this add surface by level range more precisely. Triangle face height again would be useful for quarry analysis and this will identify triangles that lie within specific height ranges. Length of triangle side is really quite useful especially if you're working with sparse data and you want to identify parts of the model that have very few points they're likely to produce long thin triangles and you can get LSS to automatically find those triangles and identify them with a specific surface feature for example you might want to void out all triangles that have a minimum length of 15 meters and a maximum length of 99 meters. We now have a survey which is entirely populated with surface features and as a result we have the option now of not only adding a surface feature 
but deleting and replacing those which are already in the survey. Let's take a look at delete surface feature and just as with the add surface feature we have exactly the same number of options for deletion. But if we just want to delete a specific surface feature then we can draw a polygon around the area knowing that it will only delete the chosen BLDG surface feature. I select escape when I finish completing the drawing of the polygon and it will highlight for deletion those triangles that contain that BLDG surface feature. If we select replace then we can choose the surface feature or surface features that we wish to replace and then select the surface we wish to replace them with. And escape. And there you see it's replaced only the BLDG surface features within that polygon with the A1 surface feature. Surface features have a multitude of uses. They can be used in reporting of areas and volumes. If you have subdivided your LSS survey into different surface features, when you do an area or a volume report, it will break down that report into those individual surface areas. You can also remove or amend observations within and on the boundary of specific surface features and whenever you see the selection filter for those particular commands then you will see an option for selecting one or more surface features. It's also used for plotting so you can have a solid color shade or you can have a hatched area defined by surface feature. There are a multitude of uses for surfaces apart from just the aesthetics.